Hello, my name is Vince Campy. Let's do the introduction to Flash here. This is the very beginning. We're going to do a brief overview of the workspace, and then we'll get you going with some text in the background. So, let's go ahead and open Flash. You'll come up with this uh, splash screen, they call it, or start page. Um, we're going to click on uh, Flash document. Now, what we're doing here will be pretty much the same in Flash 6, 7, 8, or 9. They move things around a little bit between versions. Um, this may look a little different. Uh, if you're in Flash 9, go ahead and do a uh, ActionScript 2 document. You can now open that new document there. The default size, the normal size that it comes out, is 550 pixels by 400 pixels. What I like to do right away is go up here on Flash 9. This will be down here. Click on here, the blue up and down arrow, and go up to Fit in Window. That way, I can see my whole document. This here is called the stage. That's your work area in Flash is called the stage. Here, we have the timeline. If you want the timeline to disappear, you click on that. It goes away. Click again. It comes back. We're currently in Scene 1. When you're working with movie clips and symbols, uh, if you're inside of one, you'll see the name of it here. Okay, that's the timeline. Flash does uh, work in time. So down here, right here, what we have the default is 12 frames per second. I usually like to change that to 20 because it's easier on the uh, math end of things. So what we can do right now is double click where it says 12 FPS. Double click there. We're going to leave the stage the default size. Background color, we'll leave it white. Frame rate, we're just going to select that and type in 20. Make default, then hit OK. OK, now this movie is going to run quite a bit smoother. And uh, when we add uh, seconds, it's easy to do divisible by 20. This is a keyframe. Keyframes are where change happens. Just remember that. Whenever you make any kind of change, it's going to happen on a keyframe. These are the layers. You like to use lots of layers. Put everything on its own layer. That way you have complete editing control and uh, you can do all the tweens you want, all the animation you want. Okay? Right here, if you want to add a layer, we're inserting a layer. This is inserting a folder if you want to group some layers together. Right here, the eyeball, that's the visibility. If I go over here and draw a little circle on the stage, I want to like check and see what's on this layer. Click on this underneath the little eyeball. Okay, that is on that uh, layer. If I want to lock it, I click right under here under the lock. Now I can't, I won't be able to draw on that. Layer is locked. No, I don't want to open it. So that's what you want to do when you're not working on a layer. It's really good to lock it so you don't accidentally draw on that layer. So right now I'm going to click off of that. Now, if I double click the eraser tool over here, it clears the whole layer that I have selected. So boom, boom. So that's all back where we were. The panel's over here. By default, if yours look different than this, you can go to Window, down to Workspace Layout, and hit the default. Then it should look exactly like this. Color, this is a color palette up here, if you click on that. In Flash 9, it just looks a little bit different, but um, basically the same. OK, here's your color. You can do all your work with the colors there. The library, this is where all your symbols and graphics and everything goes. So this is a very important window to have open. And another window I like to have open, if I go to Window here, Alignment. I use that all the time, so we just open that up. It embeds itself right here, and we're good. Over here, the tools. So here you have the drawing tools, or this whole section up here. Your selection tool. Here you have the free transform. Very, very useful. We'll look at that in future movies. This, all-time favorite. La, la, la. Okay, gradient transform tool. Miracle worker. This is the greatest tool in the world. Line tool, lasso tool. In nine, these two are grouped together. They're underneath each other. A, here... Uh, Macromedia used to call the text tool A. Now, um, in Flash 9, this is called T, so it's in line with all the Adobe products. This is the pen tool, pencil, brush, oval. These two are grouped together in, uh, in Flash 9. They're under each other. And here we have the rectangle. And if you ever see a black triangle like that, I mean, just click and hold it, and there'll be other stuff under there. The Polystar tool. All right. So we're looking at these. This will put strokes on things. A stroke is the line around an object. Uh, the fill tool, eraser. This eyedropper is to uh, select a color, if you want a color. Magnifying glass or zoom tool. 
The hand will move stuff around. These are your colors. The pencil always draws with a stroke color. If I click on that pencil and draw, it's red, the stroke color. I just hit the uh, Apple Command Z or Control Z, undo. The fill tool, that will paint. Let me make it a little darker color. And when you're using the paintbrush, it paints with the fill color. When you have the pencil tool chosen, you have some options down here, straight and smooth or ink. So you can do anything you want with that. So when you draw a line with that, it straightens it out. Or if you have smooth chosen, see not real smooth. When I let go, boom, smooths it out nicely. When you have the brush chosen or the, um, or the eraser, click down here and you have different sizes. So right now what I want you to do is on this layer one, go over here and grab the oval tool. Okay, Let's pick a couple colors you like, the blue and the red, maybe I'll make this uh, gray, that shade of gray, and this red. Now, when you click and drag, see right now, without holding the shift key, I can make this any kind of shape I want. If I hold the shift key, it locks it to a perfect circle. Same thing ha happens with the rectangle tool, make it a perfect square. But I don't want a perfect circle, so I want something nice oval like that. And then I'll just let go. Now, what you want to do when you're selecting something to move it around, this is really important, up here with the selection tool, that's the one you use, click on that. Now if I click that just once, it looks selected with little white dots in it, but if I move it using the arrow key, I didn't select the stroke, so it moves separately. So I'm going to just hit undo. If you double click, then you'll notice that the stroke now is also selected. And now if you move them, they'll move together. What I'm going to do, have this both selected, and go over here to the Align tool. Make sure two stage is selected, is darkened. So that's selected. Now I'm going to align the horizontal center. Now I'm going to do the vertical center. That's what I want. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lock this layer. Click and lock it. Now I can't select it. Okay. Double click on it. I'm going to put BG for background. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some text on top of that. So I click on the new layer palette here, insert layer. I'm going to double click on it and type in text. So I know it's on there. This layer is selected. I'm going to go here and get the text or type tool, 9 it'll say T. I'm going to click on that. Then down here, we get the properties. Here, let me close this up so you can see the whole thing. The properties menu for text. We're going to primarily, uh, for now, be using static text. OK, that's just text that sits there and looks pretty. Dynamic text changes when you have action scripting. So we don't want dynamic text right now, static text. I'm going to go ahead and choose Arial Black. If you click on here, you have your whole list of fonts that you have on your system. I'm going to use Arial Black because it's a nice big fat font. This is the font size right here. Click on there and you can zoom it up or zoom it down. Right now we're going to go with 37, maybe I'll do 48. This is the, the color. If I do gray, it's going to not show on there. So I'm going to do something bright and wild like yellow. Okay. Normal, here's uh, the normal text type tools. So right now, we're just going to leave everything else the same. I'm going to click right on here. I'm going to type hope. Now, what you can do to move text around here is you go right to the edge, and you see you get the move tool icon, very much like Photoshop. I'm going to move that over here. We can move that text anywhere we want at this point. If I move away over here, if I click, It'll um, want me to do some more text. Not into that at this point. So click back up in here. I'm going to go get the selection tool. OK, this blue box tells me it's selected. Now I can change the color, the font, the anything I want. And maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just using this slider, and it slides right up. Now I'll move this right on the edge, like that. I can use the alignment tools because the other this is aligned properly right in the center. Not that that's proper, but it's just in the center. And I uh, align that now so that's in the center of the center. So there we go. We have that now. We have our text on our background, and that's the beginning of Flash. Play around. Have a great day, and uh, welcome to Flash. Bye bye.